In this episode, we take another trip through Oklahoma history and what we like to call our two-fold trip around southern Oklahoma. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. Back in April of 2012, our family went on a trip around southern Oklahoma from Marlowe to Atoka to Ardmore and back. We call this our two-fold trip, since we traveled across two folds of our highway map. On that bright sunny morning, I, my wife Donna, my mother Carlita, and my grandmother Edna set out on one of our many exploring Oklahoma history trips. Our primary goal was to visit the Boggy Depot State Park near Atoka, Oklahoma, and collect as many of the historical markers we find along the way. Now this is going to be an abbreviated travel log. I'm just going to highlight the towns we traveled to and mention some of the historic places we'll find near each location. If you would like to know more about any of these historic places, please visit the Exploring Oklahoma History website at blogoklahoma.us and look through our Historic Places database. The database has been organized by county, and these are the counties we'll be talking about today. Atoka, Carter, Garvin, Marshall, and Murray. We began our trip in Marlow, Oklahoma, and we headed east to Elmore City. This was our first stop in our trip. There, in an out-of-the-way place in front of the Senior Citizen Center, is a small plaque for a unique bit of Oklahoma history. It's a marker noting Gary England of KWTV, that's Channel 9, issuing the first tornado warning based on Doppler radar in 1982. That's a unique find. (laughs) From there, we headed south and then east again to Davis, Oklahoma. Now, in this particular trip, we didn't stop. But in a previous trip, we visited the Arbuckle Historical Museum there, and it's a very nice museum. Please visit when you can. From Davis, we continued east to Sulphur and stopped by one of our favorite parks in all of Oklahoma, the Chickasha National Recreation Area. It's a natural wonder and a real treasure. Please visit it as often as you can. It's a great place. Now from there, (laughs) we traveled cross country quite a ways to the southeast through the small community of Wapanukuk. I hope I pronounced it that right. (laughs) And about five miles east of there, you're going to find the Boggy Depot historical marker. It's one of those tall granite markers. It's hard to, it's not hard to find because it's the only thing on that road. Now, from that marker, uh, you can travel south down a back road. It's a very rough road, but you travel south down that road for about four to five miles, and you're going to end up on the north side of the Boggy Depot State Park. Oh, I'm sorry, correction, it's no longer a state park. I just always referred to it that way. Um, Due to state budget cuts a few years ago, it was removed from the state park system and turned over to the Chickasha Nation, who now maintain that park. Um, On the north side of this park is a cemetery. Uh, In the very back part of the cemetery is a historical marker memorializing Muriel H. Wright, a famous Oklahoma historian. The rest of Boggy Depot has uh, kiosks scattered throughout the park, sharing all sorts of history about the area. Now, Boggy Depot is basically a ghost town that was turned into a park. It's got a fascinating history, and it's worth a visit just for that. From Boggy Depot, we traveled east, then north, to Atoka, Oklahoma. After a quick stop at the Atoka Courthouse, we traveled to the north side of town where you can find the Confederate Memorial Museum and Cemetery. Unfortunately, by the time we got there, the museum was closed, so we didn't get to see that. But you can still wander around the grounds and see the historic buildings on display and visit the Confederate Cemetery. From Atoka, we traveled north yet again to the edge of Stringtown, Oklahoma, to visit the Stringtown Shootout Historical Marker. This notes the 1932 shootout with Atoke County Sheriffs and Clyde Barrow, 
Raymond Hamilton, and Everett Milligan. From there, we turned around and headed back southwest. We traveled through Caddo, Oklahoma, and then west again to stop by Fort Washita. Again, unfortunately, we arrived too late to walk around the grounds, but you can see much of the old fort from the gates. And there's a nice historical marker right there at the entrance. After a quick stop at Medill to see the Marshall County Courthouse, we swung over to Ardmore, where we had a dinner at a nice Mexican restaurant. Afterwards, we traveled back to Marlow, Oklahoma, ending our day-long trip. It was a fun trip through parts of Oklahoma we don't get to visit nearly often enough. And I'm sad to say, though, that it was the last exploring Oklahoma history trip we got to take as a large family. My mother passed away in 2013 after a long, hard-fought battle with cancer, and my grandmother moved down to Florida to live with my aunt. We miss them both. Again, I encourage you to visit these wonderful historic places in Oklahoma and create fond memories with your family. I have links to more information in the show notes, including to a Flickr set of all the pictures I took on this trip. Thank you again for taking this look back with me in exploring Oklahoma history. This week's Blog Oklahoma writing suggestion is Write about a recent day trip you took. I look forward to reading it. Are you someone who blogs in or about Oklahoma? Then you already qualify for WebRing membership. Join Blog Oklahoma today. Want to know more about Blog Oklahoma? Then just explore the web ring and discover some of the best blogs and podcasts in the nation. Just visit blogoklahoma.com for more information. Here are my top five favorite Studio Ghibli anime movies. Number five, Howl's Moving Castle. Number four, The Cat Returns. Number three, Kiki's Delivery Service. Number two, Princess Mononoke. And my number one favorite Studio Ghibli movie of all time is Spirited Away. And if you haven't seen any of these yet, I would encourage you to go pick up the Blu-rays today. This was a bittersweet episode to put out. For those of you who have been following the Blog Oklahoma podcast for a while, might recall an episode I did before the big reboot called depression sucks. I attempted to write this very episode way back then and I just couldn't do it. I was still grieving the loss of my mother. Then all those memories just pulled me in deeper and deeper into my grief and depression. Now though the memories of this and all the other trips we took with my mother are no longer so painful. They're happy memories and I cherish them. I was inspired this week to write this episode in one part because of last week's episode when I talked about my favorite historical marker, and another part because we recently watched the Disney movie Inside Out, and that showed how to deal with sadness. But for the most part, it was thanks to Vice President Joe Biden. I was reminded this week of a talk he gave back in 2012 with some uh, military families, and he said this, There will come a day, I promise you, and your parents as well, when the thought of your son, daughter, or husband, or wife brings a smile to your lips before it brings a tear to your eye. It will happen. My prayer for you is that day will come sooner or later. But the only thing I have more experience than you in this, I'm telling you, it will come. I thank Vice President for his words. And you know what? I'm finally there. Did you know we have our own Cafe Press store? Of course you did. I mention it every episode. But in case you're new here, hey, we have our own Cafe Press store. There you could purchase a t-shirt, coffee mug, and other great items with the Blog Oklahoma podcast artwork on them. Just head on over to cafepress.com slash blog Oklahoma podcast. I've added even more great music to the Blog Oklahoma bonus playlist. There is now well over 11 hours of music for you to enjoy. 
You can listen to the playlist on Spotify or even watch it on YouTube. I have links to them and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. And thank you for listening to the Blog Oklahoma podcast. I'm happy to announce, as of July 31st, 2016, Blog Oklahoma has 9,005 registered Oklahoma bloggers. Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time.